Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world today. I am sending you so much love and so much connection and so much good energy. I'm so, so over the moon excited to talk about what it means to be a lighthouse. <laughs> I love lighthouses. As you can see in the background, I've got a lighthouse on my bookshelf. And where we live geographically, we have three lighthouses that light up and twinkle at night that I look across the bays and see, and they're just so special and so magical, like they're real lighthouses. And I am just so happy that I live like right across the bay from these amazing lighthouses because they just fill me with so much light and happiness and connection. You know, there's a... A special affinity that I have with lighthouses. But what does it mean to be a lighthouse? To me, it is being a light leader. It is being someone that chooses to look on the bright side of life. You know, even in the darkest of times, there's this way about someone that is a light leader or a lighthouse that they make the decision every day in every way to be a light, to be a beacon of hope, to be a lighthouse, to help others navigate through their dark times. Now, not to say that we don't, you know, sometimes get sad or experience grief. You know, we don't bypass our emotions. And we do as light leaders and lighthouses, we have our days where we put the covers over our head and go, ah, do I really want to come out? And we have to make the decision to relight our inner light that sometimes goes out because it sometimes does. But the difference between a light leader or someone that chooses to be a lighthouse and someone that's not is that we make the choice. We make the choice to practice having that light on. And so if you're listening to this message and you're watching me right now, it's because you want to light that inner light within you and you want to be a beacon of hope and light in this world. And we need all hands on deck right now. You know, the world has and has always been, but right now, especially there's this division that's happened between so many people and it's based on beliefs and the difference of beliefs and you know there's all different you know um there's a lot going on there's a lot going on so how can we choose to be the light how can we choose to help others navigate through their dark times. And I'll tell you how it works. It's a choice. You make the decision. And I do that every morning. I wake up and I'm lying in bed and I practice an attitude of gratitude. And this is the way I start my day. And it's not about emotionally spiritually or intellectually bypassing in any kind of capacity at all. It is a choice. I choose to practice gratitude. I wake up and I say a few things to myself. I'm grateful for the stars. I'm grateful for the house I live in. I'm grateful for my fur babies. I'm grateful for my children. But I don't just say it. I feel it. I feel it in my all the cells of my being. I light up my own heart and my own being with this attitude of gratitude. And I marinate in the attitude of gratitude. And I stay there. It's like a meditation, if you will. And until I feel that gratitude, then I get up, <laughs> up out of bed, put my robe on, make my coffee, do all the things that I do. But this is my morning meditation, my morning practice is an attitude of gratitude. Then I also practice peacefulness. And I'm, I'm, I'll admit that I don't always get it right. But 
it is a spiritual practice for me. You know, I understand that the peacefulness is, is within. And if we can practice that, if we can choose peacefulness over hostility, aggression, anger, and I'm not saying I don't get angry because I do. And I allow myself to feel all the different emotions that I feel and I don't bypass them. I acknowledge them. I love them. And I work with them as these different parts of my emotional state that I, you know, invite to my table, like a round table. And I say, okay, there's the angry part. There's the grieving part. There's the sad part. There's all these different parts, right? But the part that I lead with, the queen that has the crown that sits on the throne, she's the light leader. She's not the angry one or the scared one or the grieving one or even the confused one. We have all these different parts of who we are. But I make a choice that the queen that's sitting on the throne and that is ruling her own life is the light leader. And I choose to lead myself to the light and keep the light within me burning bright so that I can help others navigate through their dark times, their grief, their sadness, their loss, their confusion, <laughs> all the different parts. I can help them by first of all, helping myself and keeping my own inner light burning bright. My name, Shemet, actually means the candle that burns bright and the holy one. And so it's a very, a very strong meaning for me and spiritual practice for me to make sure that I am always keeping my heart you know, my love burning bright and leading with light. So light leader and being a lighthouse is leading with love, leading with kindness, leading with compassion. And yeah, so take a moment, place one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly, taking a moment just to come into your breath, Ah, just imagine a light in your heart and just imagine lighting it. Imagine lighting that beautiful, beautiful spark of light within your own heart. Inhale that in and exhale anything that you need to release. You can even go, ah, and release ah, any of that negativity. Ah. And then breathe in the light again. Lighting your heart with love, with empathy, with compassion. Knowing this is a choice. You can make the choice to... Feed the, you know, if you had somebody come knocking at the door, who would you feed? You feed the fear or do you feed the love? Do you feed the anger or do you feed the love? Do you feed the confusion or the simple clarity of choosing love? Coming back to our sovereignty, that it is a choice. We get to make the choice to be a light leader, to lead ourselves to love, to lead others to love, to lead with compassion and kindness. We need all the lighthouses in this world. So today, choose to be a lighthouse to be a light leader, sending you so much love, so much compassion, so much kindness on your awakening journey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.